Wood. I'm Lee Newton. Hi, I'm Elliot Morgan. Good news, Lee. I'm about to get even hotter. To you, that is. A crack team of researchers at the California Institute of Technology studying deep brain simulation have found that electric currents make the brain cells more excitable, which, in turn, makes a whole lot of other things more excitable, if you catch my drift. I couldn't have missed it if I tried. I was trying. Believe me. I was trying so hard. The study was conducted by administering 99 study participants with a transcranial direct current stimulation for 15 minutes. The participants got into an fMRI machine both before and after the brain shock and were shown faces. After the zapping, participants found the faces more attractive. This is mostly in part to the electric current stimulation of the midbrain, which is a source of dopamine that is associated with the rating of attractiveness. TDCS is known to all of us attractive folk. Nope. Not kicking in yet, huh? Okay. TDCS has also been used in the past to improve a curious list of things, including making making people better at arithmetic, and get this, video games. <sighs> Not even a little bit. It's like a haircut was for nothing. This technology is being tested as a way to help treat people suffering from neurological disorders such as depression, schizophrenia, and Parkinson's without needing to use drugs, which can have side effects that affect the entire body. The hope here is that the non-invasive deep brain stimulation could target the midbrain without influencing those other not fun parts. What do you think? Would you be willing to undergo some brain zapping if it could make people more attractive or better at video games? Let us know in the comments down below. And also, don't forget to click this like button and subscribe to this channel. You can click the sanitation for our five daily stories. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Lee Newton. <sighs>